Uh, the referee was terrible. Well, listen, that's a great point, okay? Now, I know Herb Dean. He's a great referee. He's a great referee. The man's a professional fighter as well. He fought pro. He knows what's going on in there. He understands jiu-jitsu. He understands striking. But McGregor got away with so many fouls to the point where Khabib was... was he left his corner between round three and four to tell the ref, hey, why are you letting him get away with all these things? So what did McGregor do during the fight? McGregor, uh, first of all, he need the, the worst foul is he need Khabib illegally from the bottom. Khabib was side control, and McGregor knees Khabib in the head from bottom side control. Okay, He should have got a stern warning and maybe even a point. McGregor was holding the fence on the last takedown. When Khabib pulled to put uh, take uh, McGregor's back, McGregor was blatantly holding the fence. And that was probably his seventh or eighth foul that night. Okay, Before that, he had held the shorts. He had, uh, he had grabbed onto uh, Khabib's shorts as Khabib was trying to take him down. He had put his toes in the fence after being told not to. He was uh, grabbing Khabib's gloves, obviously grabbing Khabib's gloves. He was doing foul after foul, and he grabbed the gloves maybe two, three times. Khabib was verbally talking to the referee saying, hey, he's holding my glove, he's holding my glove. Rewatch the fight again. There was a lot of fouls from uh, uh, McGregor. Now, why would McGregor do this? He doesn't seem to do this in his other fights. I don't know. That's a question to ask for him. That's a question to, for him. But I think he might have been fighting for his life. Like He might have felt, look, I'm being overwhelmed here. I need every single ounce of help I can get. He might have been in a panic mode, which uh, I, I think I could understand. Being smashed under somebody so heavy, so well-based, you feel like you can't move him. You start to get desperate. You've never felt anything like that. You've never felt a pressure like that. And uh, you might panic a little. Now, I'll tell you something. I think the referee should have taken away a point or given him a stern warning at least. Those fouls were just too many. There was just one too many, especially holding the fence at the end. I would have let the action go, but if by some reason McGregor would have got on top, I would have stopped the action and I would have taken away a point because you cannot do something that interferes with the fight. It was a blatant fence hold. Grab, he grabbed the fence blatantly. Everybody saw it. We all saw it. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't something that was insignificant. But Khabib still got on top of him. Khabib still hip heisted over him and got on top. Uh, it was just not a not a fair tactic by by McGregor. Okay, so what else we got? Uh, he was desperate. Yeah, I assume he was getting desperate. You know, he's probably being felt like he was being suffocated under there, uh, having a very you know Khabib's top game reminds me a lot of George's game. So I felt it. I know what it is. You know, if you don't uh, have a good answer for that, it's it's a very devastating position to be in.